didn't choose this path, but I will follow it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you missed in the Wheel of Time trailer. You fully lost your mind. Your life isn't going to be what you thought. For this list, we're looking at the blink and you'll miss it details and Easter eggs in the first full trailer for the upcoming adaptation of Robert Jordan's best selling book series. Are you excited to see Jordan's epic tale brought to life on screen? Was that Lord Agomar and Faldara? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 10. The Taint. The wheel weaves as the wheel wills. The wheel of time turns and ages come and pass. And what turns that wheel is the power known as the True Source. As readers of the books know, the True Source is divided into two halves, Saidin and Saidar. Men who can channel the one power use Saidin, and women Saidar, but Saidin has a catch. When male channelers sealed away the Dark One, Saidin became tainted, driving them mad. In the last age, the Dark One was trapped by the last dragon at the cost of almost everything. In the trailer, you can actually see this dark taint when Loghain uses the One Power. Speaking to IGN, showrunner Rafe Judkins referred to this as, quote, the corruption. We have to admit, it is less susceptible to jokes than the Dark One's taint. Number 9. Moraine's Blue Stone We've had a few glimpses of Rosamund Pike as Moraine Damadred in previous clips. I am Moraine Sedai. Twenty years ago, I learned a secret. A vision of a baby being born. A baby who could change the world. But the main trailer gave us an even better look. For the uninitiated, Moraine is an Aes Sedai, an order of female channelers divided into groups called Ajas. Do you know what Aes Sedai means in the old tongue? Servants of all. It is they who serve the world. A member of the Blue Aja, dedicated to righteous causes and justice, Moraine wears her Aja colors proudly in the trailer. But that blue stone on her forehead also has another raison d'être. It's a jeweled pendant traditionally worn by high-born ladies in Kyrienne, where she was born, and acts as a focus for a sneaky skill she's developed using the One Power. While it is a small detail, it is an iconic part of her character that we are glad made it into the series. Number 8. The Warder Bond in the books, Landmon Dragoran is stoic and stony, his face all hard planes and angles. Moraine. What are those? His army is coming. While Daniel Henny's land also seems suitably dangerous, there's a moment in the trailer at what looks like a funeral where he's overcome by emotion. They will leave no one standing. As Moraine's warder, Lan is bonded to her, granting him increased stamina and the ability to heal faster but also meaning that the two share an awareness of what the other is feeling. In this moment, also broken down by Rafe Judkins for IGN, we see Moraine reacting to Lan's pain, tears rolling down her cheeks. It isn't just sympathy, she's really feeling what he does. Number 7. White Cloak Trophies Our enemies are everywhere. They will leave no one standing. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nicknamed White Cloaks, the Children of the Light are a zealous military organization dedicated to rooting out dark friends, devotees of the Dark One. But they're not particularly interested in fair trials. Because male channelers went mad and broke the world long ago, White Cloaks hate anything to do with the One Power. In the trailer, we see White Cloak Eamon Valda, played by Abdul Salis, burning an Aes Sedai of the Yellow Aja at the stake. And in a brief shot, you can see that he actually wears a collection of great serpent rings, the rings worn by Aes Sedai. That means he's killed quite a few already. The White Cloaks seem to pose a serious threat in this adaptation. Number 6. Braid Tugging we didn't get any sniffing or smoothing of skirts in this trailer, but we do get a very emphatic braid tug. There will be one who can stand against him. Nynaeve Almira's habit of tugging on her braid when she's mad is rather notorious among fans because, well, she's mad a lot. Name yourself, stranger. In fact, fans did a count, and there are 60 incidents of braid tugging in the books, peaking for some reason in The Dragon Reborn. Box our ears if that's not a lot. As a nice nod to this habit, the wisdom of Emmons Field, played by Zoe Robbins, reaches for her braid once in the trailer, giving it a very satisfying flip. Hmm, wonder if we can get some mustache knuckling in there too. Number 5. One of the Five of You Where next? The Two Rivers. The old blood runs deep in those mountains. 
Let's hope it's prepared them for what's coming. When Trollocs attack Emmons Field, Moraine concludes that Rand, Matt, or Perrin were their target, at least in the books. But in the trailer, she refers to one of five. The Dark One is waking. But there will be one who can stand against him. And it's one of the five of you. It's a quick snippet of dialogue, but it is curious. Presumably, Egwene and Nynaeve are the other two. But for reasons we won't go into here, this doesn't add up. Is it clever misdirection from Moraine to keep the girls in tow? Mind you, in Jordan's earlier drafts, the three boys were actually four. Dana Lewin left with them and appears on a preview cover. The final cover still featured too many characters leaving Emmons Field, since Nynaeve caught up later. At least Moraine's cryptic remark keeps up the funny business with numbers. Number 4. Baal Zaman The Dark One might be imprisoned, but his influence is still felt in the world. If we do not stop the Dark One now, the whole world will burn. During the Trolloc Wars, a dark figure showed up to lead the Shadow's armies, Baal Zaman, whose name means Heart of the Dark. Believed to be the father of lies himself, he led the Shadow Spawn against the once glorious nation Manetherin. Amazon's trailer for season one features a 360 experience that allows you to look around the screen. And if you look at the right moment, when Moraine issues a dark warning about the Dark One, you can see faces emerge from the darkness. A Murdral, a Trolloc, and Baalzaman himself, his eyes endless caverns of fire. You can also see the Aes Sedai symbol and phrases in the old tongue. Number three, the Blood Snow. The Westlands are full of scheming and political intrigue, but all the kingdoms came together for the Aiel War, when the Aiel, inhabitants of desert lands to the east, invaded. It culminated in the Battle of the Shining Walls outside of Tarvalon. However, it was so bloody, soldiers who were there called it the Blood Snow. These moments from the trailer seem to depict that battle, with an Aiel vaunting over a wetlander. Look closely and you can see the nine golden bees of Ilion on the soldier's breastplate. He may be one of Ilion's famed companions. This could be part of a flashback, since a certain beloved character was a second captain of the companions before making an unexpected discovery on the slopes of Dragonmount. Number 2. Hints of New Spring Swear your oath, Moraine Sedai. Adapting Robert Jordan's sprawling 14-book series for the screen is no small challenge. Showrunner Rafe Judkins has said that he hopes to remain true to the source material while also condensing the story. The first season will pull from the first two books, and even some of the third. It looks like we'll also get some moments from Jordan's prequel novel New Spring. I swear to speak no word that is not true, to make no weapon with which one person may kill another and never to use the One Power as a weapon. The trailer shows Moraine swearing the three elves on the Oath Rod in the White Tower, as she's raised from accepted to Aes Sedai. This was part of New Spring, which detailed how Moraine embarked on her quest to find the Dragon Reborn and made Lan her warder. Will we see Lan dunk her in pond water too? Probably not, but hey, who knows? Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Tarwin's Gap Beyond the city of Faldara, you can see this crucial mountain pass leading into the Blight. Leandrin and Alana in a departure from the books, Moraine battles Loghain alongside the Red with the Rosebud Mouth and the Graceful Green. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hitherto Unseen Characters We did get a brief glimpse of Michael McElhatton's Tam in the teaser. The wheel keeps turning. But the trailer gave us a better look as he draws his Heronmark blade. What can we do? And is that Narg? Well, in the book, Narg isn't the first Trolloc through the door, nor is he described as having horns. But hey, maybe he's changed it up. Narg smart. Previously, Eamon Valda and Tom Marilyn had only appeared in a behind-the-scenes special. But freeze frame, and that looks like Tom fighting a Murdral. We also saw several characters for the first time, including Aram and Loyal, though they are easy to miss. The handsome Tinker can be seen, apparently unconscious, when white cloaks surround Perrin and Egwene. And that's everyone's favorite Ogier near the Waygate, about to get into all sorts of trouble with those hasty humans. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.